Today is going to be one of those boring days when there's not that much going on at all. I need to clean the apartment. Then I'll probably have to get a little bit of lunch. Standard food, macaronis and sausage. The current temperature in the sun, 47.4 degrees. Peter, look at my dad car. Let me see, let me see. Where's the dad? Oh, take a look at that. That's a bad boy. I see 2020 and I have my wow. first time metal rims. Oof. <laughs> Dude, that is wild. By the way, congrats on the baby. Thank you. How does it feel to join the dad force? See those black, black eyes? <laughs> Tired, but good, happy. <laughs> Great seeing you, man. I'm gonna have to go and pick up a package at the airport because FedEx refused to call me when they tried to deliver it to my office. 47 degrees in the middle of the day in the sun. That is a lot. Now it's a little bit colder though. You can definitely feel that tomorrow it's gonna go back to regular schedule with 14 degrees and overcast skies. Got the package. Fun fact, DHL and DHL Express is not the same entity because DHL is split up in multiple different entities, if you may. DHL Express is one of the best express companies there is, period. They're way better than FedEx and UPS. But DHL Freight, though, is one of the worst logistics companies that I've ever used. Always think about that when you're ordering stuff and see if it's actually DHL Express or DHL Freight. This time it was FedEx. And then I need to go and pick up a new pair of glasses because as you probably know, my old ones broke and these are the only ones that I got. Buy one, get one for free. I didn't want to strive too far and, you know, be all edgy in that, but if you're used to seeing these glasses right now, you're gonna have to get used to seeing me in these. The good old Peter Lindgren glasses. Everything feels so weird when you have moved up a strength. Wow. But I also got a new pair of sunglasses. Look at these bad boys. I don't know about you, but I can say I like these better than the previous ones. It feels so weird. Wow. It feels like you're a little bit dizzy when you have a new strength. You know, it's like, hey, what is going on here? Definitely gonna have to get used to this. Wow. Okay. I'm not entirely used to them yet because it feels still feels very weird when I'm looking around, but I'm gonna give it like a week and then we're gonna see and do an evaluation if it's actually the correct strength. This is gonna be the last time that I'm in the studio before heading out to Mallorca. And I wasn't really supposed to go here today, but it starts to become a trend. <laughs> so let's see. And if it was hot in here yesterday, today is 10 times worse. I know if you remember a while back when I bought a new wallet from Dango Products USA. This is a titanium wallet and I really like the look and feel and function of their products. So I get a couple of new stuff. M1 Spec Ops, Carabiner and Shackle. Huge thank you to Dango for sending these products over so I can test them out. And if you want to buy any of these, maybe a new wallet, maybe a carabiner and shackle or something like that, PLXDango is the code that you want to use on their website to get 15% off. Head over there and check it out. This is the T01 Tactical Wallet. How good does this look? Huh? Take a look at this. Up and out. A multi-tool in your wallet. Now that, that is what I call tactical stuff. Dango T01 tactical wallet. Super cool stuff. If you're anything like me and like these kind of things, head over and check it out. Ooh. Okay. So I've been having a little bit of a dilemma if I should bring the 100 to 400 
or the 70 to 180 with me on this trip. The pros of the 100-400 is that you get the compression that you otherwise can't get with any other lens, but it's also very heavy and clunky and when you want to bring it long, you need to have a lot of space to actually carry it with you in the hand luggage. And that's something that we don't have. The 70 to 180 though, is a very lightweight lens compared to what you get because this 2.8 aperture all the way through. And even though I don't get the compression, I do think that this is gonna be the more versatile lens for family stuff when I'm out there. So I'm probably gonna go with this one. And I cannot go on a trip without an action camera. That's just impossible, right? The DJI Action 2. And I still have the most intense training ache ever. Oh, it's just so bad. And I really, really burned myself yesterday. Check this out. Oof. But I think that one of the last things that I have to do today before I head home is to buy some new clothes. I realized that I didn't have enough clothes to be able to sustain my entire wardrobe in a warm and hot climate for a longer period of time. Then I had to do a little bit of last minute shopping. Question is though, does this make me a fashion blogger? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I love the look of this. <laughs> and grab a couple of drone shots because I need to have some storytelling elements throughout this video to be able to make it work. I also want to talk about the difference between working and not working because it's very hard to differentiate the two. When I was working on DHL or any other job for that matter, it has been very clear that the definition of work is the amount of hours that I spend being in a specific place. But ever since I started working with YouTube, all of that kind of shifted because the line of what is work and what is not work is very, very thin and it's very hard to cross on either direction. In the last couple of months, I've been trying to think of what is work for me. If I make a video, post said video onto this platform, is that gonna be work or is that because I think it's fun? And I don't really want to define it because if I do, I think that I'm gonna be splitting it up to what is fun and what is boring. And I want both channels and all the videos that I'm making to be fun and to actually fill a purpose that is not just work. I think that whenever you create a must, for yourself or whenever the hobby that you have become a must in order for you to provide for your family or for yourself, then that becomes a job. So in my case, doing these vlogs is something that I really enjoy because I'm having fun with them. There's no pressure on these vlogs. I'm just doing them because I like to make YouTube videos and that is basically the whole purpose of this channel. But on my main channel though, there is an entirely different thing because that is the channel that is feeding my family and making sure that I can pay the rent and that I can run my business as a profitable business. And since I'm making money with that channel, I see that as my main job and my main thing. And that is where the videos I sometimes don't want to do still needs to be done. Meanwhile, on this vlog channel, the videos that I don't want to do, I don't do them. And it's also very easy to fall into the trap of I need to record everything because everything is content. And yes, the thing is that you can create content from literally everything, especially now with Reels and TikTok and all the things that we got going on. But I think that one of the most important things though is that as long as you're having fun with what you do, I wouldn't define it as work. But when you feel that I need to do this in order to be able to afford my living, then that is what defines work in my opinion. I would really love to hear your opinion on this, so do drop a comment down below and uh, tell me your definition about work. <laughs>